Welcome to our comprehensive guide to the best tourist spots in Italy. It is a country full of history, culture, and beauty, and we're excited to take you on a journey to explore some of its most iconic landmarks and attractions. Italy is a beautiful country with a rich history and culture. The country is home to some of the world's most famous landmarks and tourist attractions. From the ancient ruins of Rome to the romantic canals of Venice, Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance, the fashion capital of Milan, and some other tourist spot, Italy has something for everyone. In this comprehensive guide, we will explore the top tourist spots in Italy, including their history, significance, and what makes them worth visiting. We'll start our journey to the Eternal City. Rome is the capital city of Italy and is located in the central part of the country. Rome is famous for its ancient ruins, including the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, the Pantheon, the Trevi Fountain, the Spanish Steps, and Piazza Navona. Rome is also home to the Vatican City, the smallest independent state in the world, and the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church. The city is known for its incredible architecture, art, and food. We'll dive into the history and significance of each of these sites and show you what makes them worth visiting. There is an oval amphitheater known as the Colosseum. It is often referred to as the Flavian Amphitheater and is one of the finest examples of Roman architecture and engineering. There were gladiatorial contests and public spectacles like reenactments of famous battles, animal hunts, executions, dramas based on classical mythology, and simulations of naval conflicts. The Roman Forum is a rectangular forum, plaza, in the middle of Rome that is surrounded by the remains of several significant ancient governmental structures. This area, which was formerly a marketplace, was known to ancient city residents as the Forum Magnum, or just the Forum. Rome, Italy's Piazza Navona, is a public space. Its design is based on that of the Domitian Stadium, which was erected there in the first century AD. It was called Circus Agonalis, Competition Arena, because the ancient Romans frequented it to witness the agonies, games. It effectively has three amazing fountains. Rome, Italy has a fountain called the Trevi Fountain. It is 26 meters, 85 feet high and 49 meters, 161 feet broad, and it is situated in Rome's Trevi neighborhood. The Spanish steps are a flight of stairs that ascend a steep slope between Piazza di Spagna at their base and Piazza Trinita dei Monti, where the Trinita dei Monti church is located and dominates in Rome, Italy. In Rome, Italy, there is a church called the Pantheon that was once a Roman temple. It was constructed by the Emperor Hadrian in 126 AD after being ordered by Marcus Agrippa during the era of Augustus, 27 BC, 14 AD. The building is round and has a portico with two sets of four huge granite Corinthian columns behind them and eight in the first rank. Located in Rome, Italy, Vatican City is a sovereign city-state. It was created with the Lateran Treaty, 1929, and although it is separate from the Holy See, Latin Sancta Sedis, it still has full ownership, exclusive dominion, and sovereign authority and jurisdiction over it. It also goes by the name St. Peter's Square. Venice is a city located in northeastern Italy and is known for its romantic canals, historic architecture, and cultural significance. Venice is built on a group of small islands and is known for its beautiful churches, museums, and art galleries. Some popular tourist attractions in Venice include Grand Canal, St. Mark's Square, the Doge's Palace, the Rialto Bridge, and Murano Island. We'll show you what makes Venice a unique and unforgettable destination. Grand Canal. It is a canal in Venice, Italy. It forms one of the major water traffic corridors in the city. It is about 3.8 kilometers long and 30, 90 meters wide one. St. Mark's Basilica. It is a cathedral church located in Venice, Italy. It was originally built in 828 AD as a chapel for the Doge and has been rebuilt several times since then. Doge's Palace. It is a palace built in Venetian Gothic style located in Venice, Italy. The palace was the residence of the Doge of Venice, the supreme authority of the former Republic of Venice. Rialto Bridge. It is a stone arch bridge located in Venice, Italy that spans over the Grand Canal. The bridge was completed in 1591 and is one of the four bridges spanning the Grand Canal. Murano Island. It is an island located in the Venetian Lagoon, northern Italy. The island is famous for its glassmaking industry and has been a center for glassmaking since the 10th century. 
Next, we'll head to Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance and the capital of the Tuscany region of Italy, and is located in central Italy here. We'll explore some of the top tourist spots, including the Florence Cathedral of Santa Maria del Flore, the Uffizi Gallery, the Ponte Vecchio, the Palazzo Vecchio, and Piazzale Michelangelo. We'll show you some of the stunning artwork and architecture that make Florence a must-visit destination for art and history lovers. An iconic dome that dominates Florence's skyline may be found on the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore in Florence, Italy. Il Duomo di Firenze is another name for it. The Uffizi Gallery is a well-known art gallery that is situated close to the Piazza della Signoria in Florence's historic center in the Italian region of Tuscany. It is one of Europe's oldest and most well-known art museums and contains a collection of rare artwork, especially from the Italian Renaissance. The Ponte Vecchio is a historic closed spandrel segmental arch bridge made of stone that spans the Arno River in Florence, Italy. It is notable for the fact that it still has stores erected along it as was previously the norm. Florence, Italy's municipal hall is called Palazzo Vecchio. This enormous Romanesque fortress palace is one of Tuscany's most striking town halls. It is one of the most important public spaces in Italy, overlooking Piazza della Signoria and its replica of Michelangelo's David Monument, as well as the gallery of statues in the nearby Loggia dei Lanzi. In the Oltrano neighborhood of Florence, Italy, lies a square called Piazzale Michelangelo that offers a panoramic perspective of the city. Our next stop is Milan, the capital of the Lombardy region in northern Italy. It's a global fashion capital and home to many high-end designer brands. Milan is also known for its impressive architecture, including the Milan Cathedral, the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, the Sforza Castle, and the Brera Art Gallery. Milan is a vibrant city with a rich cultural heritage, and it's also an important business and financial center. We'll show you how Milan combines history, culture, and style to create a one-of-a-kind destination. The Milan Cathedral, also known as Duomo di Milano, this is the largest cathedral in Italy and is a true architectural marvel. The Gothic-style cathedral is located in the heart of Milan. It took nearly six centuries to complete and the cathedral features 135 spires and 3,400 statues on its exterior and has a capacity of 40,000 people inside. A must-visit when in Milan. Rio Emanuele II. It is one of the world's oldest active shopping malls and a major landmark of Milan. Located next to Milan Cathedral, the Galleria is named after Vittorio Emanuele II, the first king of Italy, and was designed in 1861 by Giuseppe Mengoni II. The arcade features high-end shops, restaurants, and cafes. The Sforza Castle. It was built in the 15th century by Francesco Sforza, Duke of Milan, on the remains of a 14th century fortification. Today it houses several museums and art collections like the Museum of Ancient Art, the Museum of Musical Instruments, and the Museum of Egyptian Art. Also include works by Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, the Brera Art Gallery. It is an art museum located in the Brera district of Milan. This art gallery is home to one of the most important collections of Italian Renaissance art in the world. The gallery also features works by some of the most famous Italian artists, such as works by Raphael, Caravaggio, and Tintoretto. Other tourist spots. Finally, we'll wrap up our journey by exploring some of the other top tourist spots in Italy, including the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Amalfi Coast, the Cinque Terre, Pompeii, and Lake Como. We'll show you what makes each of these destinations unique and why they're worth visiting. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a famous landmark located in the city of Pisa in Tuscany, Italy. The tower is known for its distinctive tilt caused by an uneven foundation which caused it to lean 5.5 degrees, about 15 feet, 4 or 5 meters, from the perpendicular in the late 20th century. Extensive work was subsequently done to straighten the tower, and its lean was ultimately reduced to less than 4.0 degrees 1. The tower was built in the 12th century as a bell tower for the adjacent Pisa Cathedral. Visitors can climb up the tower's spiraling staircase to get a stunning view of the city and the surrounding countryside. The Amalfi Coast. The Amalfi Coast is a scenic coastline in southern Italy along the Tyrrhenian Sea. The area is known for its beautiful beaches, colorful cliffside villages, and clear blue waters. Visitors can take a drive along the winding coastal road, stopping to explore charming towns like Positano and Ravello, 
or take a boat tour to see the coastline from the water. The Cinque Terre is a picturesque region of five seaside villages located on the Ligurian coast of Italy. The villages are connected by hiking trails that wind through vineyards and olive groves and offer stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea that comprises five villages, Monterosso al Mare, Vernazza, Corniglia, Manarola, and Rio Maggiore. Each of the five villages has its own unique character and charm, and visitors can explore colorful houses, small shops, and local restaurants. Pompeii is an ancient Roman city located near Naples in southern Italy. The city was buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD and was rediscovered in the 18th century. Today, visitors can explore the remarkably preserved ruins of the city, including public buildings, private homes, and ancient artwork. It is one of Italy's most popular tourist attractions and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Pompeii offers a unique glimpse into life in ancient Rome. Lake Como is a large lake located in the Lombardy region of northern Italy. The lake is surrounded by picturesque towns and villas, and visitors can take a boat tour to see the stunning scenery. The town of Como, located at the southern end of the lake, offers charming streets, historic buildings, and a funicular ride to the top of the nearby mountain for breathtaking views of the lake and the Alps. Some of the most popular towns around Lake Como include Bellagio, Varenna, and Menaggio. Lake Como is also known for its world-class restaurants and luxury accommodations. Italy is a beautiful country with endless attractions and landmarks to explore. It offers something for every type of traveler. This comprehensive guide has covered some of the top tourist spots in the country, but there is much more to discover in this stunning and historic nation. You have got a better understanding of why tourists regard Italy to be a must-visit destination as a result of your participation in our tour of some of the country's most famous sites and tourist destinations. Italy definitely has something for everyone, from its fascinating history and culture to its spectacular beauty. So prepare to enjoy everything that this incredible nation has to offer by packing your bags. Many thanks and safe travels. Thanks for watching. Feel free to suggest any travel topics, country you'd like to see us cover in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel fun facts. We'll see you in the next video.